Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Mac and uh, for those who just um, newly got into my channel, welcome. My name is Mac and um, today we're going to do an unboxing, flip through and the first impression of the Sacred Self Care Oracle. This is by Jill Pyle and it's a um, it's illustrated by Tatiana Vidinkina. So it's a 56 or 55. 55 sorry 55 card deck guidebook and this is published of course by Hay House um let's see here so at the back let me just remove the plastic first I've been meaning to get this one before but um somehow I I wasn't really sure if you know it could if it could be helpful um you know with my readings however um, I just thought that you know with all of the queries that I'm getting from you know from from those who would like to get a reading from me um, I think this would be a very appropriate you know um, additional to my um, collections of Oracle cards and at the same time I can use this one to guide them to help them out with their um whatever their inquiries are whatever they're going through and also at the same time it kind of i feel like they would be needing some you know self-care uh, advice that i could give them so at the back it says in here um okay so it says here at the back treat yourself like a goddess connect with your intuition and deepen your self-care practice with the Sacred Self-Care Oracle. This whimsical illustrated uh, deck will help you create rituals to nourish you on the deepest levels your soul is calling for. Inviting you to ask, what do I need to feel centered and balanced today? How can I connect with my body's intuition? If I only have a short time for me this week, how should I spend it? <laughs> Gosh, sorry. <laughs> Bless my, my, my beagle sneeze. Um, okay, so whether you find meaning in the cards alone, or consult the in-depth guidebook for mantras, journal prompts, and additional guidance. This powerful healing tool for the modern spiritual seeker gives you permission to put self-care at the top of your to-do list. So we have here, um, if you need more um, inspirations, you can go to these. Uh, I don't I, I think these are profile yeah let's say profile still uh maybe instagram profile handles better and then the artwork is by tatiana vedenkina and it's published by hey house it retails for 24.99 and let's open the box <laughs> Pause as if you can hear my other dog. It's a very beautiful um, purple color, by the way. If you can see it, I can open it. Mm, okay, there we go. Uh, there we go. Great. So this is the guidebook, and look at the back. That is so pretty. Really cool. Yeah. Okay. And then this is the guidebook. And then, oh, look at the back of the cards. I'll, I'll take a look at that one later. So we have here, it says here, um, take care of yourself so you can shine your soul's light. Yes, that's correct. So we are going to take a look at the guidebook first. Let's see what it says in here. Um, okay, it's the same thing. And then here, title page. It was copyrighted 2020. I think this was released. Uh, uh kind of forgot. Earlier midweek or mid month, uh, mid year rather. I think. Anyway, okay. So, um, table of contents right there, and then we have like a welcome page. We have about the oracle, card storage, using the oracle, 
card meanings, oracle spreads. Um, let's see. Okay, I'm sorry about that. I had to like really pause it for a while. Um, okay, so yeah, the card meanings near the oracle spreads. So we have here. Oh, look, moon ritual. And I guess this is actually like a good, uh, you know, spread that you can use. And whatever falls into these type of moon phase, you can use that um, card to reflect on. So we have here chord meanings. We have here abundance planning, alone time. And then for, oh, it's in black and white. You have a picture of the card here on the upper left. And then there's a mantra right here. And then um, the uh, further, you know, further details of the uh, the meaning of the card. Then at the end, you have a journal prompt, which um, is a question. If you're like keeping a journal, uh, a journal, or um, then you can you can use these questions to reflect on, or you can also ask these um, you know these prompts to your clients. Either you can have them do it as an assignment, or you can just do it right there and then while you're having a reading with them so um okay so that goes on up until the end of the i think yeah oh this is good wow this is actually cool sync with the moon moon faces hey that's nice that will be a cool card to pick on, right? Okay, anyway, I think that's about it. This, there's a chanting. Oh, this is cool. Alright, this is a really great guidebook, guys. I think it's it's very useful. I, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to think I like that I got this one. Um, okay, so we have here the last word acknowledgement about the author, about the artist. And then here at the back, it tells more uh, marketing stuff, I guess. And then that's it for the, uh, yeah, that's it for the guidebook. So, we are going to take a look at the... Um, I'm gonna move it here. Okay. Um, my dogs are starting to whine because it's time for them to eat. And look at the back. And the back of the cards are really like a, a, a lavender, sorry, a lilac. A lavender lilac mixed colored right there that you can see and it's um it's matte by the way so which is really nice i like how it feels you know the buttery matte feeling yep that's how it feels and of course cardstock is as usual uh from hey house the 350 gsm type bendable and really nice I'm gonna love these cards so uh, let's proceed with the flip through now first we have the abundance planning cute <laughs> you know the lucky cat yeah it's really nice then we have here alone time We have aromatherapy. It was mentioned in a guidebook, by the way, I think I read it somewhere that um, you can easily, you know, um, get a hint of how the card explains just by looking at the pictures, which is, yeah, it's true. We have be still, they're numbered, by the way. Um, it's uh, borderless, but at the bottom you can see here 
like um, a highlight um, of the title of the card. We have Beauty Ritual. Sorry. Then we have Build Strength. Burning Bowl Ritual. Chanting. Clean your space. Clear your energy field. Connect with crystals. Connect with fire. Connect with earth. Connect with your ancestors. Connect with your womb. Make an altar. Create art. Okay, sorry about that. Now we have dance. Deep breathing, dream journal, drink tea, and I love the colors on the cards, pastel -y energy work, seven chakras, have family, Flow like water. Ground yourself. Health checkup. <laughs> Hydrate. Ah, drink lots of water. Intuition. We have journal. Look for fairies. Oh, cute artwork right there. Look to the stars. Okay, the astrological symbols. Make a meal. Make a vision board. Massage. Meditate. Movement. Music. Nourish your temple. Planification. They're really nice. You know, the... Um, the artwork, the artwork, read, rest, sex, sing. So this is kind of like what your body needs. Soak in a bath. Sound healing. Spend time with animals. Spend time with friends. Sweet treat. Sync with the moon. Take a walk. Use your hands. Watch a movie and more to gratitude list. Those are really nice, you know, um, self-care tips right there. So, 
um, as usual. Like what we usually do, uh, we'll shuffle the cards. And then later on, we're going to pick a card. And see how it means from the guidebook. And because they are matte, they are really easy to shuffle. I love how matte cards shuffle really. And I can get a whiff of the cards. Yeah, it does really smell nice. It shuffles nice. And then we're going to take a look at how they shuffle overhand. Yep. Matte cards are always easy to shuffle, either riffle or, you know, overhand shuffling. So they're really nice. So. What we're going to do next is we're going to try to pick a card now and let's read from the guidebook. Okay. Okay, so we have here plan a vacation and from the guidebook it says in here um, let me put it right there so you can see okay so uh, from the guidebook it says in here um, plan a vacation so the mantra is I find adventure and inspiration everywhere so get ready for a magical journey filled with synchronicities taking the time to go on vacation can give you a new perspective spark inspiration that will nourish your soul on the deepest level and bring more joy to your daily life we still have a bucket list or sorry we all have a bucket list of places we'd like to visit and there's no time like the present to get started on working toward making our dreams a reality but planning a vacation requires just that planning if there's a place you'd like to travel that seems out of reach making a budget and timeline for your trip can help guide you in the right direction so let me just get this card the, where am I? Okay. So balancing work and vacation time is essential to well-being. If there are some roadblocks to planning a vacation or if money is tight, don't immediately set your dream plans aside. Rather, take a look at what commitments in your life would need adjustment to make the necessary time, space, and resources available. If you need to wait a while, consider how you can satisfy your craving for adventure with a staycation or by creating experiences that expose you to new cultures and ideas in your own community. Read a book in what's this? Read a book in translation, see a movie produced in another country or switch up your dinner routine and try that restaurant serving food that seems exotic to you. So for general prompt What small and practical steps can you take to manifest the resources and time you would need to take a vacation? So, um, I guess what this card says is that um, you actually can, what do you call this? Um, it's actually already calling you to take um, time off the things that's keeping you busy time of work you know it's it's time for you to give yourself um, a time to rest so I think this one actually suits me right now because I think that I've been really um, doing so much work uh, recently you know and um, this one it's kind of 
like you know uh, I've been busy all around so this one is just like um, telling me or maybe even telling you guys who who's reading this one that you need some you need to take um, some time off right now and you know try to um, what do you call this um, time to just you know uh, prioritize the things that needs to be prioritized or um, yeah take some time off rest because rest is needed for you at the moment even just for a little while you know just just um, just take even five minutes to just read a book or to listen to a music take some rest um, if if let's say for for example you're you can't have um, the time for a vacation because of of course because of the pandemic but if you can spend time like maybe for a staycation like it's mentioned in the guidebook a uh, staycation or if you have anything like um, any staycation that you can do like Airbnb or stuff like that that you can you can just take so at least you know you'll have time with your closest friends you have time to rest or you have time with some special someone then go ahead and do so I mean don't stop yourself from planning a vacation you'll be needing that if you think you need it then you need to plan if it's today's not the right time then that's fine then just just take some time off um, five minutes of your time ten minutes of your time reading watching a series watching a movie just an hour or so it'll be fine as long as you just have to take a vacation and um, just to like reset your mind as well you know reset your mind reset your emotions reset your eyes as well so yeah I think that's how I'm gonna have to do this and then also I think this card also says like um, uh, take a look at the small things uh, that you do every day that you can uh, make adjustments so that you can squeeze in some time for you know for a vacation or for a rest so that's how um, I think this is how or rather this is how the uh, sacred self-care oracle looks like um, do you guys like the cards uh, did you guys like how it reads from the guidebook do you guys like the uh, artwork the card itself the deck itself for me I absolutely love it and like I said a while ago I think I can use this one definitely like um, tips that I can give you know to to my friends who's asking for a reading to your queers to your clients who's asking for a reading you can totally use this one um, especially right now I think we all need self-care since you know some most of us are spending time inside in the house alone um, because of uh, because of the uh, pandemic so I guess this kind of like really also helps out in a way so thank you guys for watching if you haven't subscribed to my channel please go ahead and do so now and do not uh, forget to hit the notifications bell so at least you'll know if I'm going to upload new videos also um, please like give this video a thumbs up for support or if you've liked the video if you have any other oracle decks that you'd like me to um, give you a flip through off be it a uh, let's say an old one or a new one just comment it down below and I will look for those cards for you also I, th I just thought about it you can actually use these cards as well together with other oracle decks if you're client or females you can use this one with um, let's see a uh, goddess oracle deck or divine feminine from Hay House as well you can use them both together for further um, explanation or for expanded uh, readings so yeah thanks again for watching and until my next video guys Hi!